Captain Falcon and Ganon, Ganon match, I remember. I see, I see. The one that they were playing for the people. Like they, they swapped their tags halfway through and chat was, chat was the only thing that saved us from completely <laughs> messing up all the commentary. But, uh, you know, um, letting you change your online tag like that is part of the fun. Your has gone. Hmm. Will be streaming this set? Oh well. Guess we'll just wait for a bit to uh, see if they pop back in. I'm pulling up the bracket on my desktop. Problem was, Hirchen was the one who just dropped out, so I have no idea if Pinky Swear really is Soul Knight or not. And if it's not, then. Yeah, because it, Pinky Swear yeah, is Pinky supposed Swear to is be. In the other match, he's, in, he's against yeah. Innocent. Yeah. Okay, Indeed. so I guess they just. Uh, probably was a miscommun miscommunication, they went in the wrong, wrong arena. Alright, uh, I guess we'll see Soul Knight later then. That, that, will, that will come. Ah, yes, now I remember. There is Yazin and his tag. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yes, and I was playing that tag um, last week as well. Mm -hmm. Although, it's kind of confusing for us all night to be on Pinky Swears. Or using Pinky Swears tag. Yeah, so... We were looking at the wrong bracket, it seems. So yeah, first game will be Yesen versus Pinky Swear. Shoutouts to Bayonetta. Bayonetta? Yeah. Is Pinky Swear a Bayonetta uh, player? Nah, uh, the, these nuts icon. That's, oh, uh, okay. Ro uh, I forgot his name. Rodin? I think Rodin. He's, he's, a, he's a cool guy. Okay. Yep. I didn't know that. I'm generally not so knowledgeable when it comes to games that are... Uh, within the Smash Brothers universe, but not exactly mainstream. Mm, I suppose so. The Bayonetta's uh, maybe getting, getting towards there. Okay, what and it looks like we're going to be seeing the Steve. By... Mm -hmm. From Yesen. Uh, Fyra. So Pinky Swear. Oh, yeah. Bringing up the Aegis, it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if this is a button check or not. Nope, it may like be. Right it may not be. Yep. Pinky Swear immediately went for the narrow approach on the platform there, so we can do us that it's not a button check. Mm -hmm. So uh, Pinky Swear already rushing down the Steve as hard as he can. Mm hmm. This is gonna be his one opportunity in the match oh, to be able to do that. Pointed the, oh, he pointed the up B the completely wrong direction. It's a pretty uh, an early SD from uh, Yesen. Normally, not something you see from him. He's pretty good mm -hmm. at the Steve and uh, uncharacteristic early mistake. Right, but the early mistakes are so costly with Steve because you really need to get those materials on the board. You need to get your advantage state so you can trade it away for some materials because you need gold. Once you get gold, you have a neutral game. Yeah, especially against a character with uh, as fast moves as uh, Mistra over here. Although he's doing a pretty right. good job, he's buying some space and he's uh, gotten out some opportunity to get some uh, materials there. May have intentionally taken the hit, but uh, still no gold or diamond in sight. He's uh, still working mm. on it. Yeah, he does need a little bit more iron if he wants to crank out the minecarts. He's gonna have to use one here to get back. And now, Pinky Swear with the Pyra. Gonna be looking for uh, kill opportunities. Any re any raw hit will probably take Steve out. Mhm. Mm oh, but a raw smash coming up from Yesent. Oh. He finds himself a diamond, breaks the pickaxe to get more materials. He'll he'll settle for another gold ingot. Mm -hmm. Manages to find himself a minecart. Puts the TNT to cover something. Yeah. We're in between each other. Get up and roll. that set up quite a bit uh, last week as well. It looks like uh, with the blocks up top, he's covering high recovery, and the TNT is covering the low recovery. That's gonna be a punish, I think. Yep. Mm, I like the patience from Yesen not going for the punish on the uh, blaze, uh, the f the flame nova right away, but instead waiting for the roll away. And now Yesen choosing to craft the diamonds on a fresh stock. Good resource management. Yeah, but he is a stock behind, so he's gonna have to work pretty hard there. Wow, that's an interesting block formation. Uh, I think he was trying to build himself a the Yoni wall. That he it, there's a Twitter clip of um Yoni building a gigantic unbreakable wall behind which to mine. He hasn't tried to go for it because the three blocks at the three blocks at the bottom is how you set it up. Yeah. But then he missed the build, I guess. 
He is running now... awfully low on materials right now, though. Even though I mean, he does have the diamond tool, so he could definitely, if he finds some space to mine, like that, he's gonna get some stuff to work with. But right. Mitra is such a fast character, really not making it easy for Steve, just stifling all his opportunities. Mm, definitely. That run speed. And he keeps fair. That air speed. Okay, good call out on the jump from the minecart. I think he's where with an air. Yeah. Finds himself an up air, and now. Oh. Yes, he's completely out of materials. Yeah, he's found another diamond, but that's not going to help him much. He's not going to have anvil, he's not going to have minecart. It's going to be a pretty hard uh, journey back up. Exactly. And now, thank you, sir. Trying to get a scramble and up tilt. Okay, yeah. finds the side B. He's the kill so that he can get a little bit of space to work with. So that's mm. why he's playing a little bit aggro, that's probably the thought there. Oh, the good. diamond pickaxe is gone. He's going to have to craft himself another one. Yeah. Oh. He does get the replenishment on all his tools, though, and he gets the gold uh, powered minecart. Mm -hmm. This is going to be huge for him. Thank you, sir. Playing maybe a little bit too uh, passive there. At this point, I think he could switch to Mitra and actually still kill with her. He doesn't need to rely Perhaps. on Pyra's lower frame data. But then again, one straight hit with the character will spell the match. But yes, and making a little bit of a comeback here, a slow comeback. Yeah. Uh, he actually has a lot of time to mine with the materials because Pyra has a hard time getting around the TNT. Mm -hmm. And now, yes, and with a full stack of iron. Oh, that may have been a really bad wish. But. <gasps> Still, oh, yes, bad. he's still alive. Pinky Swear needs to close it out here. Trying and now. High recovery, that's unsafe. Oh, no. Secret pair out of shield. He hasn't. Is he going to do it? Places the new. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Goodness. The back here is going to take it. Yeah. So, yes, and making quite a comeback there from a uh, full stock down and with no materials. We also have to remember that he did SD in the first stock. Yeah. That was a shame. I think uh, Piggy Swear probably could have played a little more aggressive there. Um, maybe switched back to Mitra, abused uh, the better frame data, the better air speed. He gave up a lot of stage control there with the TNT. I think, uh, yeah. What else could he have done there? Well, I think going the route of also going Pyro is fine, high percent. The one lucky it was just. He is kind of just a. Leaving it into the hands of the gods, and sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Mm, so yeah, I think true. we're, if we see the exact same gameplay, the exact same opening from Pinky Square here, where he gets the momentum with the early Mithra uh, rushdown, we can see a repeat of the situation that occurred last game, but maybe we might see Pinky Square actually come out on top. But yes, and with the jab combo, is going to send Pinky Square off stage, uh, catching the high side B. This is side and now, being this what it is. <laughs> but Pinky Swear is fighting back. Ooh, that spiked. That's going to combo into a jab. Yes, and going to miss the pickaxe loop, but still, he gets a lot of momentum off of this. It's not too far back. Uh, this is still doable to catch up. But uh, every little damage there is probably going to add up. Ooh, Yesen was prepared for that particular dash attack. He actually secret fared it out of shield. Comboed it into the pickaxe fair. TNT set up again. Well, wow, putting the okay, end he'll down. drop it. Okay, pinky swear with a full hop fair. Ah, uh, there. I like it. Yeah, and now, yes, and putting the TNT block down, uh, pinky swear gonna blow it up with the side B. Yeah, but that's gonna attacks, give enough time. Pyro attacks do blow up the TNT faster, uh, and I believe the trust side, uh, pyro side B is one of them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that forward smash, not exactly connecting for pinky swear. They've been big. And now, back to neutral. Pinky Square does have a little bit of stage control, but Yesent going to take it right back with that side B into fair sequence there. Oh, and again, a repeat of the previous round, catching him with an aerial on the high recovery. Okay, Yesent with a back air. 19% on the board for him, just from one move. Diamond tools, yeah, very auto. strong. And it's going to be adding oh, a whole lot loop. more. Exactly. He breaks the pickaxe, but still. Choosing not to craft another one oh, no, he just did, uh, until right? he does. Yep. Right. He's got two yeah, steel, so he's gonna need to get more. <laughs> this is Pinky's best chance, but uh, nope. He hasn't got another yeah, yes. two back again. All right. <laughs> just needs one hit though. 
Ooh, with the hit not going to Pinky Square in that situation. Yes, and going to ride his momentum into a ledge trap. And, another, and he gets the back air. Another back air. That pick is surprisingly seem... disjointed, you know, looking like he can actually contest the Aegis' long range. Almost feels like it. And this is the third pickaxe Yesen has broken in this set. I'm astonished. Oh, there's okay. a run up. Okay. Unfortunately, no kill trolls. Right. Wow, going for but... a really risky attempt. Here. Okay. Okay, F tilt to keep him in the corner. I like this pressure. Pinky Swear finds an F tilt, another F tilt in the scramble. And now he has to contest the Steve who has a full set of diamond tools again. Dash attack gonna be a start. Chooses to combo into another dash attack, seeing as he missed the tech. Oh, and the raw F smash. Just catching uh, Pinky Swear out of position. It will take the round. Just, and that I have an F smash is just so yeah. strong. It's got so much knockback on it. He was held the way across the stage at double digit percents and is still able to find the kill on that whiff Nair. Yeah, that's the yes, fearsome power advance. of a Steve specialist. So that is going yeah, to Yesen be... hasn't been playing as much uh, Joker as of recently, or so I hear. Apparently so. He's pulled up the Steve more than he has the Joker in the last three, last few weeks, and you know I I am all for more Steve action on the stream. Steve is a very non-standard character, you know, and it's really cool to see the kind of like big brain plays that they can pull out. Mm. And I'm also surprised that uh, unconventional characters like the ones that we were presented with DLC Pack Two are or what's it called now? It's not DLC Pack Two. That's like the second fighter, right? But the uh, the second set of fighters tends to be rather unconventional, but also viable, which I think is a, a challenge to to design a character set like that. Mm, for sure, for sure. Because, uh, but I, I like I for one like the character variety. You know, like if you're adding a lot of new characters, um, it's always nice to have new game mechanics or new ways to play within the platform fighter genre. <clears throat> That way, you know, even if the character isn't particularly strong in the 1v1 meta, uh, if they provide new and interesting ways to play, then that's, I think, something that's a selling point in in of itself. Yeah. And as we saw last match, both Steve and the Aegis bringing different uh, experiences to the table for sure. Mm -hmm. So up next, uh, say... yep, it's going to be Sona and Hirchen. So Knight's already in the arena, we'll be waiting for the second player. So probably, I guess, uh, Cloud of Sephiroth versus uh, Byleth, I'll be guessing, from the Icon. Do we actually know for a fact who higher turn plays? I, I think I remember them playing uh, Byleth. Let me look up the let me look up the previous history then. Uh, see if we've got any of see if he's ever been on stream before. Or with the access to the archive. Got the YouTube channel loaded up right here. One of the advantages of uh, commentating digitally, I suppose, um, you get you can mm -hmm. check all your resources very quickly. Unfortunately, we are turning up empty on vaults containing this player, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. I've seen him around in the Discord though, so uh, definitely one of the players that uh, have has been around for at least Ultimate's life. Uh, at least out of my period, if not earlier. Mm. On the subject of the Discord, where is the Singapore scene based in online? Because I've I've heard some a handful of different servers actually where people are active within the SG scene. Mm. So there's as far as I know, there's a Singapore server and there's a grind server. I'm not too kept up on what all the new kitties are doing uh, in their yeah. uh, different communities, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's Man. exciting, you know, to see them uh, practice and really get like this strong. I don't think yeah, I. Yeah, you, you say that you're like more. you're old. Yeah, I am. I, I am old. <laughs> are you old? I think you're young. My you're first, probably young. My, my, my first Smash game was Brawl. Uh, you're about as old as I am, then. Mine was Brawl. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I think it's just that people are really young in the community, mm -hmm, and so even sure. though we're on the older end, we're still very young in comparison to the rest of the population. 
I guess my basis of comparison is like, you know, FGC people, they tend to be like around their twenties, I suppose. There are they there are right. some younger ones, but like the general player base tends to it's slightly older, I guess, at this time. Like you see mm-hmm. the people turning up at Evo. Right. And uh, you know, all the old vets in like Street Fighter and stuff are like in their thirties now. Oh my goodness. It's yeah. been so long. It's they been get, so long since Street Fighter 4. They're getting married and they're getting jobs. Oh my. 